Hello, people. So, um, there's a Linux emergency for you guys running Linux uh, and AMD. Um, you can get free FPS for nothing. You, you see, so I'm just playing 0AD regularly here. I'm getting, oh, it goes down to, it went down to two digits there, I saw it. It said 99. 99 FPS. I mean, it, it hovers between 300 and 400. Roundabouts. Sometimes it goes into the 200s, but, you know, whatever. Okay. So that's that. Alright. So, what's happening now, exactly? Like, it does drop down a bit, you see, like... That's because I'm recording, but I, I'm getting that, it's getting up to 500, you see. I don't know, I'm not really d demonstrating it super well. And you've seen my, my GUI has gone up in, in size, but my, but the resolution of the video hasn't changed. The resolution of this output hasn't changed. But... What what is happening now, as opposed to previously, is oh yeah okay now th this is better because this is kind of where I was before and yeah it's it's six hundred it went it hit six hundred so okay so before it was running natively at fourteen forty p now it is running through the game scope compositor or mini compositor at ten eighty p upscaled to fourteen forty p using AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution and Feral Game Scope, Game Mode. So there's Game Scope and Game Mode both running here. So my CPU schedule has changed. This is, this is the most optimized way to play Zero AD on an AMD Linux system by far. And, and you see, like, yeah, my GUI's got bigger because I, I, I've got it set to 1440p in the, in the what's name. But, Alpha 26, the next one, you can just go to menu options and, like, somewhere here, or somewhere, is a setting for GUI scale. So you can just fix it. And, I don't know... It, it's heck up. Like, <laughs> I can't really explain to you how much better this is. <laughs> okay, so the latency is zero. You could feel the latency in, in Wayla. You could feel the latency in X.org. You, there's no latency here. It's just not, it just doesn't exist. It's using some Vulcan stuff to like direct copy from the frame buffer to like <laughs> some stuff that I do not understand. I know the words. I know which words the people who do understand use to explain it. I, I know the words that they use. I don't understand it, <laughs> like, at all. But what I understand is now my mouse is hardware accelerated. Like, I have a different mouse now than I do in my desktop. And it's, it's like better. Like I'm gonna need to um, set it to a different yeah. Well, maybe even the first one. I have to set it to like the lowest setting, but uh, the lowest DPI on the mouse. But you know, it it does. It's better. It's still better. It's just better. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. And uh, the thing is, I've been running with uh, sharpening disabled and stuff because earlier <laughs> I was doing this. And just, just give me a moment. Oh, where's my mouse? Hold on. Uh, okay. I gotta put it onto the other screen. Come on, where is my mouse cursor? 
<laughs> uh, on a 4K screen, but far away, it's kind of hard to find. Um. Ah, oh, it's because. Okay, no, no, don't worry. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So now, this is already running at 8K resolution. <laughs> And you know, it's playable. It's kind of a little jittery with OBS trying to do its pipe wire pull of the game because like, I've actually found out that that supersedes the monitor output. Like I'm getting the next buffer or whatever. Like, so you might not even see it. Here's like, here's the thing, so like, So I noticed it when I was running a game that was getting really low in FPS. There was like an in-game, in-engine cutscene that was happening. And what I was seeing on the screen, I was seeing about one frame every second. One frame every second. Um, but in the recording, I watched the recording and it was 60 FPS and it was perfect. So there's some way with how... Basically, you might not be able to see the stutter that I'm seeing. And when I'm not recording with OBS, I don't see it. And um, I can't see what my FPS is, but... It's a, it's a three-digit number. It is a three-digit number. Let me say that again. I'd be, just be really clear with you right, right here about what's happening. I'm running 0 AD at 8K resolution with a three digit FPS number. And like my PC isn't even, it doesn't even care. It doesn't care. Doesn't care. Two times speed. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. It, it'll go off. It'll, it, it, it'll go off. Um, yeah, I don't know, man, like, I don't know how to explain how big of a deal this is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's huge. Now people who jitter in the late game don't have to. If they're running AMD and they're running Linux, their late game's going to be better. Like, if they're starting, if they're, previously they were starting the game at 300 and it was going down to about 100, like what was happening to me, now start up at 500 and go down to like 300. That's that's plenty. That's plenty. Not doing this, of course. This this decreases your FPS. Um, although not not a lot. Like it, here's the thing. The game at 8K downsampled to 1440p using um, game scope and game mode has lower latency and greater FPS than the game running at native 1440p without any of those other things. Like, I, I need to talk slower so you can actually understand. Like, I already have all this in my head so I could just go blah, blah, blah and say it all out. But I, I, I need to understand and realize that some of these concepts are semi-alien to most people. It's better like, it's better to do this. Get, understand that. It is better. You you have a better experience. Like, just running game scope and game mode with no changes, no upscaling, no downscaling, no nothing. It's, it's just, inf I already showed you before, like I was getting up to 500, whereas I was getting maximum of up to like 300, 400 otherwise. That's like a 20% difference. That's a lot. It's, it's, uh, it's huge. And for people that were struggling to hit 60 FPS, here you go. You are, you're very welcome. You are welcome. You, with this method, I guarantee you, if you do it right, like, I imagine most people are running 1080p displays, run the game in 720p, upscaled to 1080, you're going to have to change the GUI scaling, but, you know, you can do it. 
you will you will hit 60 fps you will get more you will get more fps and lower latency like i can't even like begin to really i can't make you understand how much lower latency this is because you can't you literally can't see it in video this is 140 f4 fps 144 hertz screen refresh rate and a 60 fps video you literally can't see it trust me dude seriously here at 8k this feels better than playing the game at 1440p resolution. I, I, I cannot stress this enough to you. And it looks better. Like, it looks better. Like, I couldn't really see until I checked the screenshots, but, like, just the people especially. Buildings look kind of the same at every resolution. Although, oh, damn, like, some of the, you can really tell the difference between the text. Like, this mat here... The texture of that is trash compared to the texture on the roof and uh, the brick. To what this engine can do, right there next to it. Fix, do fix this mat. Make a new mat texture. Come on. Um, yeah, you're letting the it's letting the whole team down. Your awesome steps and these. Columns like textures up here, just every, every other texture on this, except for maybe on the pots. Yeah, the texture on these trees. I don't think the texture is a problem with these trees, but how it's mapped to the 3D surface kind of thing. But you can see the texture stretched here and squished here. Like it's stretched where it bulges and it squishes where it, yeah. That's just some kind of really difficult positioning thing that would be really hard to fix probably but at, at, but at this point you've got to nitpick because like everything looks so good everywhere except for just a few little things you gotta nitpick these little things hey fix this mat i mean you know if you want the game to be perfect look perfect because it's at 98%. It's at 98%. Somebody please fix this mat. The game is 98% perfect. <laughs> Except for this mat. Oh, okay, look. Just seriously. Uh, info in the description and on the Discord. There's, a lot, there's like um, screenshot comparisons and um, terminal examples of like exactly what terminal commands I've used to achieve this um yeah that's the end I've got to go and censor out a swear word that I said in this video and then upload it because like I, I, I need somebody else to to try this and give me their thoughts I need somebody else with AMD and Linux to to do this and then say to me yeah dude it's like way better the mouse is kind of a bit fast, maybe, but I can learn to adapt. <laughs> oh, and I already kind of have, actually. The thing is, when I was doing it in in Apex, Apex Legends, the the raw input was kind of annoying. The difference between the speed of the mouse in the menus and in speed in game, but I'll just have to modify that. But it was like I had more confidence in my shots. Like I was like, boom, boom, boom. I like it. There was just, oh, it's just better, man. It's better. It's one hundred percent better. There's a bit of a placebo effect going on because I kind of understand technically how much of an achievement it is. Which people should be shouting this from the rooftops. It's it's insane. Like. Wayland is great for, like, regular stuff. And even the Wayland pipe wire OBS integration thing, that guy, guy kind of works now and it's kind of all right. But, um, yeah, like, what Wayland needs to do is detect when somebody's going to run a 3D program which requires that extra low latency. I don't know, it, 
I don't know, man. Wayland needs to detect when a game is running and run it using GameScope. Use that nested instance. And I guess this is like even better if you're running this native. I don't know. I don't see. I don't. I don't really see how it would be. It's like isolated from the the regular Wayland process. So it should be the same as running it as your like desktop compositor. Anyway, this, I, I really don't know. I, I, <laughs> what I do know is this is better. You should check it out. Seriously, check it out. Okay, goodbye.